This is a Thunder update brought to you by Bob Moore Ford. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Anthony Slater. We're at the Thunder practice facility where the Thunder practiced on Friday in preparation for Game 3 of the Western Conference Finals. Down 0-2 in this series is the Thunder, but they got at least a mental boost today as the Thunder announces that Serge Ibaka is now day-to-day -day instead of out for this series. There's a chance he could play. His calf injury is healing quicker than they expected. What do we make of all this, Anthony? Is he going to play, and could he play on Sunday? I think it's possible. I mean, do you really throw this news out there? I think you throw it out there if you think, oh, there might be a chance he's going to play Sunday. So I would, really wouldn't be surprised. They're, they're holding back. You know, hey, he hasn't practiced yet. He's only doing light basketball activities. He's, you know, light work on the court, some calf work. But, I mean, this guy clearly is a quick healer. Uh, he's, as, as Sam Presley said, I mean, he does a lot of things uh, a lot different than other people. I mean, you see how he jumps and stuff like that. There's a guy that obviously is going to need his calves, though. If he's going to defend the rim like he can, he's going to need that. I even asked Sam Presley, you know, is, he, is it going to be one of those deals where maybe it's 12 minutes, a little spurts as a mental, you know, boost, or could he play starters minutes? He didn't even want to go down that road yet. So we'll see. But the fact that they threw it out there, I think there is a chance Serge Ibaka plays on Sunday. Yeah, this is an injury that could be re-injured. That's a possibility. Uh, so that's why you really err on the side of caution. But if he can play through some pain, I think that ups the chances. And it, it looks like maybe his he is willing to go through some of that. Okay, well, we don't know if he's going to play. We don't know if he's going to start. We don't know what kind of impact Serge Ibaka could have. But regardless of that, the Thunder obviously has to turn this series around. What do they have to do to get back in the win column and uh, push this series a little bit? Defend a lot better. I mean, you give up 122 in game one, you go up 112 in game two. The offense is a, is a huge, everything's an issue. I mean, let's be honest here, uh, 77 points in game two. But defense really, you get the defensive energy going, maybe you get some turnovers, maybe you get on the fast break, you get some stops, you get the Spurs frustrated like you frustrated, they, or they frustrated you. Um, and a lot of that's intensity. A lot of, you know, Russell Westbrook, it's on the stars. Russell Westbrook's been bad defensively, Kevin Durant. So if you can get that, I think you can get some other stuff going. you got to shoot better. you got to move the ball better. And you might have to get some other people in the lineup that are more capable of scoring, uh, scoring the basketball. Well, that leads to my last question. Let's talk about that lineup. Is there a chance that Scott Brooks tinkers again and maybe changes up starters? We saw him go with Nick Collison and replace of Serge Ibaka. Could we see a diff another starting lineup out there? Yeah, I think we're going to see another starting lineup. Uh, not for sure. I mean, we'll see. Scott Brooks probably won't tell us till 90 minutes before tip. But uh, if you remember desperation time back in game six against Memphis, he surprised us all, really, putting Karan Butler in for Tabo Cephalosha, who was struggling offensively. Guess what? It's desperation time again, and Tabo Cephalosha is struggling again. I mean, 0-9 in the series. Just can't seem to hit anything. Not playing his typically steady defense. And it's an offensive lineup without Ibaka that needs his you know, needs more offense. So I, I would think he's going to take top ball. He might even do some other things. Who do you insert? Maybe Butler, but Butler hasn't been great. Maybe you go Young, uh, Perry Jones, potentially Lamb, or who I would kind of like in that starting two guard. He's not a two guard, but Reggie Jackson. You throw your two, you throw your three playmakers on the court right away. Maybe you stagger their minutes, always have two of them on the court. That's the direction I would go, but I don't think you can keep playing Tabo. All right, lots to talk about, and the Thunder talked to us today about all sorts of stuff. Here's what they had to say after practice. He's a key guy, but at the end of the day, like I said, man, we shouldn't be getting beat this bad. Uh, and in my opinion, even if we'd have had surge, especially in the last game, the way we played, we still would have lost the game. So I think we got to do a better job overall individually. We still haven't even gave ourselves a chance, and we are better than that, top and bottom for myself, Kevin, Russell, especially on the defense end. <laughs> Uh, just come back, playing our game, getting back to what we were used to. Uh, just playing our game, we got to get back to, you know, how we play and, you know, how we've been winning games. What more than anything do you guys need to change going forward defensively? Um, it's mainly just staying focused for the whole game. Uh, you know, there's, we will be focused for, I don't know, say, like, quarter and a half, and then, like, San Antonio is a team, if you ain't focused, then you ain't locked in. I'll make you pay for it. So like, we have to stay focused for the whole 48 minutes and it should be pretty decent. We need to obviously play better. Uh, we have to have the focus to beat this team. You have to have focused um, every possession. You know, we had, we had a two minute uh, and 37 second lapse and turned it over a couple of times and gave up you know, three threes. And it went to 14 at half. 
we understand that. We, we have to make sure that we don't let that happen again. But also understand that they're a good team. Uh, so you have to prepare to, to stay focused every possession. Uh, but last game, you know, it's, that's not us. Um, our guys understand that. Um, we've pretty much turned the page pretty quickly for all the right reasons. We know that we have to play better and we will play better. Game three, Sunday night, 7.30 at the peak. Anthony, what happens in this game? Well, you think the Thunder are going to get one. I mean, you got to remember, even without Serge Ibaka, they have the two best players on the floor in this series, you know, presumably. They haven't played the best, but they, they're the two best talents, and you'd assume they'll get at least one, at least one at home, right? Uh, so is it going to be game three, game four? Could they get both? We'll see. A lot of that will we'll probably depend on Ibaka. But I'm going to say, reluctantly, I'm going to say the Thunder in game three off a big, maybe a triple-double from Russell Westbrook or a 50-point night from Kevin Durant. You'd think they got to come up sometime. they got to come up big, right? We'll see you on Sunday night. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.